We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Vlogmas episode four. We are on the final week of Vlogmas. How crazy is that? I cannot believe we are in the last week of December. That's literally crazy. Today is Tuesday and I'm just getting ready. I'm um, just in the bathroom doing my makeup because I'm going to London today. A festive day with Grace. I'm so excited. Um, last week, well at the weekend, we just decided we need to do something festive this week. I don't really have any work on now. Everything's kind of closed down for Christmas. Yesterday was my last day. So uh, apart from editing YouTube and posting on Instagram, I have no brand work or no client work or anything today. It's gonna be all about fun. We're doing a very festive day. We've got a few things planned. Um, we're going to Winter Wonderland, which I'm actually so excited about. I haven't been to Winter Wonderland since me and Jack went there, probably like four years ago. Uh, and where we went, you didn't have to pay for like entry tickets or anything. We just turned up. But now you have to pay for entry tickets, like tickets for everything. So I got us the entry for Winter Wonderland, but I've also got some tickets to the ice bar. Yeah, I'm very excited for a nice girly day. I'm starting on a Tuesday because yesterday I had a bit of a life admin day. I just didn't do too much. It was very boring. Um, I think I filmed one thing and it was just me sat at my desk eating my salad for lunch. So yeah, that was kind of the extent of my day yesterday. Um, it was my last day like tying up everything at work, ready for Christmas and to like sort me out for January. So yeah, that's the plan for the day. I'm very excited. But yeah, I'm gonna finish getting ready and do my eyelashes and I will see you when I'm choosing what to wear because I have no idea what to wear today. Apologies about this horrendous lighting. Um, it's really dark outside and if I put my lights on, it's so orange. So firstly, okay, I've just been getting dressed and planning what I'm gonna wear today. Um, so we're going to Winter Wonderland first, so I want to wear like cosy vibes, but then we're going to be going out for late lunch, early dinner, so I want to wear something like a bit more dressy. So for my daytime outfit, I am wearing this coat, which I've honestly had for the longest time. Um, I think I bought this on Depop, it's like a faux fur, um, like bubble coat vibes. I feel like these are quite popular in Sweden. I remember when I was at college, I saw um, some Sweden bloggers, Swedish bloggers wearing these and I found one on Depop um, so I don't really know where it's from or anything <laughs> so that's really unhelpful but then underneath I am just wearing my Novo London cashmere black bodysuit that I always wear I'm absolutely obsessed with these and if you don't have any of these you really need them they're such a good staple I honestly wear them probably like four times a week um, and then I've just got my H&M jeans on and then I'm wearing my knee-high boots. These are from Zara. I had these for years as well, like probably four or five years. And I love them. And I just think it looks really nice with this outfit. And then evening-wise, um, so we're going to go to Selfridges and just nip into the toilets and get changed. So what I'm going to do is take off my jeans. And I've got my tights on underneath. So extra layer of warmth, but also practical. And then I'm going to bring up this bag with me and in the bag I have got this little skirt this is the skirt that I featured in my party wear haul and um, my River Island reel if you would have seen that um, it's just like the boucle mini skirt with the feathers on the bottom so I'm gonna pop this on take my jeans off pop this on with the tights and then I also I'm gonna bring my um, Dior heels as well just so that I can pop on heels if I want or if we're not feeling heels I can just wear these knee high boots and it'll still look really nice I'm gonna pack my gloves these are like little sheepskin um, mittens from I think these are actually from Primark a good few years ago and yeah ready to go little spritz of perfume this is my favorite scent I literally wear this every day and I'm ready to go I'm gonna take my um, sac de jour today just because this is literally my everyday bag and it's crossbody. I can use top handle, it fits so much in, so very handy. So that's what I'm wearing today. 
here's a better look at my outfit today. Please ignore this makeup down here. I need to put that in my bag. <laughs> I like to bring like concealer, blush and lip products with me so I'm always feeling fresh. Especially with wearing the masks, I feel like your makeup just melts off in the day. Okay, I'm at the station. I feel like every time I come into London, I sit here and <laughs> vlog. Um, I'm just waiting for my train. I think I've only got like a few minutes. And I'm meeting Grace on the train and then we're gonna head into London. I'm so excited. I think we're going to Winter Wonderland first um, and get there for like 11. And then I think we've got our um, ice bar entries at like 12.30. So it gives us a nice bit of time to have a look around. I really wanna get a vegan waffle and maybe like a hot chocolate and stuff. So I'm very excited. Um, also, I'm wearing my little mittens today and they are just the best things ever because they're so easy to slide on and off and they are so warm. So yeah, I'm feeling good. I also love this outfit today. I forgot how much I love these boots. So yeah, I'm just waiting for the train. So I've got a um, hot chocolate with marshmallows. Wow, yours is so much nicer than mine. Cheers. camera and I'm doing a takeover of the vlog. We're running a little bit late. Lauren is on the phone desperately trying to put our table back at the moment. Oh, it's not even focused on my face. Um, 
But basically, we have just been to a bar. We had a little look around Liberties. Um, it's so nice. I think we prefer it because, um, I don't know, it's nicer, nicer feels. Uh, this is Lauren. This is Lauren, by the way, coming hey into guys. my vlog takeover of Lauren Grace Live. <laughs> Um, so we went to Liberty's. Went for oh yeah, drink. went to Liberty. Oh yeah, you know, I haven't vlogged for so long. Um, <laughs> we're and just now we're running dinner. a tiny bit late, but yeah, we've got ten minutes. It was to nothing to do with us changing outfits in the toilet or anything. Of course not. Of course not. No, no, but look at the lights. They're so cute. They were really nice. Dinner was lovely. Okay. It was very nice. Bottle of Gavi. So and now we're gonna twin. We're gonna twin every, all the way. I just said every blonde or every that means there. <laughs> every <laughs> that's that. Every that means that blonde. Yeah. Every blonde means every that. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Twinning. This is gonna be my thumbnail. We are now heading to, where should we go? The Londoner. Hmm. I think we should go there. Some drinks. We're gonna go for some drinks. It's not home time yet. And then, it's literally like, what is the time? It's like half Seven. six. <laughs> and then, yeah, we're gonna go for drinks. So I'll, we'll catch you when we go for drinks. Okay, we're on our way for drinks. Fingers crossed, I've already roofed up. We're gonna see if we can get a table. But we're just driving through Regent Street. So appreciate the pretty Christmas lights. Today is the 23rd of December. It's Thursday. It's Christmas Eve tomorrow. What the hell? How is it Christmas Eve tomorrow? I have no idea. Um, so it's actually 3 p.m. and the last clips you would have seen were when I was in London with Grace. Now <sighs> mm. I had a bit of a problem. I left my camera, you got left in an Uber. In London on Tuesday so yesterday I vlogged a little bit on my phone um, which I will insert in a second um, but yeah I basically had to go into London today and collect my camera because the lovely lovely Uber driver um, uh, had found it in his car but yeah thank God he he had it, he found it, and he um, contacted me and arranged to meet with me, and I got it back, which is amazing. Um, and now it's three o'clock, I've been in London all day waiting around for him because um, he had jobs to do, and I went in there quite early, and then, yeah, basically I just ended up having to wait for him most of the day, but I didn't mind because I was getting my camera back. Um, so yeah, I'm now home, three o'clock. I need to film a reel, which I'm posting, I think tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, so I really need to do that before the light goes because it's getting very dark now. But I just thought I'd check in with you and let you know why the vlog's a little bit random and there's not really much content from today because I've just been waiting in London for my camera. But I'm going to pop in the footage of yesterday. I went shopping with my mum. We just did a little last minute Christmas shop and then I wrapped some Christmas presents. So I'll pop that, I'll pop that footage in now and you can enjoy it. And then we will get on with the rest of the day. Hello everyone, I'm just in John Lewis in the Royal Days and Christmas shopping today. I haven't actually vlogged anything yet today, but yesterday was a very fun. And um, yeah, when I was just doing some last minute Christmas shopping, I'm vlogging on my phone because I left my camera at home. But look what I've just found. Does anyone remember Sylvanian families? I literally used to be obsessed with these. 
Literally, it's so cute. filming um my christmas day outfit inspo reel and that should now be live i think on my instagram so if you haven't already go and check it out um this was one of the outfits that i included this gorgeous little like satin silk um sleepwear set from sophia paul this is gorgeous and i absolutely love it it's got like little feathers on the bottom and then i really love this stripe detail it kind of reminds me of my balenciaga shirt so i've just um tidied up after filming and i also just hung out some washing i just washed all like my everyday bits and bobs my face masks and flannels and all that stuff um, and I always just like line them up on my radiator to dry overnight. So I just did that. And now I think me and my mum are going to have a little bit of a pamper evening. Um, we're going to do, she's going to give me a facial. I think I've told you before, but if you're new, my mum is a beauty therapist. She has been for, I think like 30 years. Um, so yeah, she's got like full equipment, everything she used to work from. Well, she used to work in her salon, then she used to work from home, and now she works at mobile. But she still has all of her stuff, so I am going to get a facial. I think I'm going to get, like, a microderm abrasion, and, like, make me super glowy for Christmas. And um, tonight I'm going to do a face mask, um, and then I'm going to have a hot bath. I'm going to do hair mask, tan, all of that jazz. And I think I'm going to do my mum's nails as well because we also have a gel um, LED lamp. So I'm going to treat her and do her nails for her. I don't need to do mine because I already got them done. I get gel extensions, just nude, so they're really natural, really simple. And I actually did my toes um, the other day. I did black gel on my toes and they look so neat. I won't show you them because I don't really want to show my feet on YouTube. But yeah, that's the plan for the evening. I also need to tidy up from the absolute mess i've created yesterday wrapping presents that you would have seen um i just created such a mess and there's still so many presents to wrap tomorrow jack's got some at his house that he needs to bring over um so i need to just tidy it up a bit and make it a bit more um organized because it's just there's rubbish everywhere um so i'm gonna go and do that now but i thought i'd just quickly show you what i picked up in london today because um i mean i didn't get a lot but just thought I'd share with you. So I picked up a new scarf. I actually don't own a black scarf. I've got a cream scarf, I've got a grey scarf, but I don't own a black one. So I picked up this one and it's just like a lovely wool scarf. This is really similar to my cream one and I actually think it might be the same because it's from Zara Men. But I love the men's scarves because they're really big. So yeah, I picked up that, nice and simple. And I actually got a matching hat as well. Um, the hat wasn't men's, the hat was women's um but it's just like this black like thick chunky hat because i don't own a black and a black hat and scarf set so yeah got that um for all the walks that we're going to be doing in the countryside in the next week and then i just picked up a new concealer my rose ink one in the shade 70 i believe lx 70 yeah this i love cannot live without and mine's actually running out so i topped up on another one and then i actually just picked up a new lip liner i haven't worn this one for ages but this i used to wear religiously it's nyx um suede matte lip liner in the shade london and honestly this is so lovely i wear I used to wear this like every day and i've kind of gravitated towards this mac one that i wear all the time now um but i just stocked up on that and then i got some little cotton wool pads because i had run out and i've been using whoa sorry about the horrendous lighting just then i've been using my rose ink exfoliator um it's like a clarifying toner so it works to exfoliate the skin i've been using this a few times a week and i love it it's so good 
Um, it's got like a little pink bit at the bottom and then you shake it. It's just gorgeous. If you have a look on, is this even in focus? If you have a look on the Rose Ink Instagram, you'll see loads of um, videos and stuff of it. But also another Rose Ink product uh, I've been loving is this brightening serum, which I need to get another one off because as you can see, it's running low. But yeah, I'm gonna get myself organized just to carry on doing a bit of like tidying up and stuff. And then, sorry, I don't know what is up with this camera and the lighting. Um, and then we can have a pamper evening. So, obviously, yesterday I filmed a little bit on my phone of um, me wrapping some presents. So I thought I'd just show you how some of them turned out. This is not all of them at all. This is only a few things that I had at home. Jack's got quite a lot of stuff still at his house that he's going to bring over tomorrow. But... Um, yeah, I've gone for like woodland themed um, wrapping, kind of without realising actually. I thought this one was just leaves, but it turns out it's got like really cute. It's got owls, um, deers, I think it's got foxes, very cute. And then this Bambi one is was a press gift from Burberry last year. Um, and then how cute is this? I added some of this wrapping onto the gold wrapping so it made it a little bit more interesting so cute i'm very happy and i put this um cream ribbon on here as well which looks gorgeous i'm gonna just unbox some of these pr gifts that i've been sent but before i do first things first um nadia bought me a little christmas present this year and she well i say little she absolutely spoiled me she got me this gorgeous candle um and if you know me, you know how much I love like open fires and I'm always sat by the fire at Jack's house. Oh my God, I can smell it already. This just smells incredible. I've never actually smelt this scent before from Diptyque, um, but she got me the ginormous candle and I am just obsessed with this. I love it so much. But yeah, this is from Nadia and Johnny. So thank you so much guys, love you loads. Next, I had a little gift sent through from my manager, Amy, at my agency. And I haven't opened these yet. She sent me these ages ago. I'm pretty sure I got these in November. She's so organized, but I haven't opened them yet. So I was saving it to open nearer to Christmas so I could vlog and open them in the last week of Vlogmas. So let's open them. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my god, a baby diptyque. That is tiny. Oh my god. Oh, that smells so nice. Oh, I really love that. What a good idea having mini candles. These are such good um stocking fillers. I didn't know they did this size. Okay, and then I have another little I literally have no clue what this is. Hello. You helping me unwrap the presents? <laughs> Gracie's down here. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh my god! Oh my god, Jack's gonna be very jealous. Tony's chocolatey. This is literally his favourite chocolate now. Thank you, Amy. This is so cute! She's made like a little document, like a little booklet, um, going back through all the work that we've done this year. Oh, oh, French Connection. God, that feels like so long ago now. Caramelin. This is so cool. Mum, yeah. look at this. Christian Dior. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, I also received a little gift yesterday from Aribe, which is my favorite hair care brand. Dear Lauren, a little something to say. Thank you so much for all your support over the past year. So looking forward to working with you in 2022. Have a wonderful break, all at Aribe. And I have actually already opened this yesterday because I was very excited to see what it was. And it is this gorgeous notebook. It says Aribe at Antoinette Poisson, I think. But it's so beautiful. 
and then it has gold gold um edging lovely little notebook which is fab because i actually don't have a notebook and i really need one for 2022 so arube have me covered thank you so much Okay, also today I received a Christmas card from Burberry and I just thought I'd show it to you because it's so pretty. So it's gold on the outside and then this is how the inside looks. So pretty. Gorgeous. So thank you so much Burberry. And then lastly, I'm so excited about this. I received a package from Stutterheim. If you follow some cool... Swedish super cool bloggers on Instagram. I'm sure you would have seen these raincoats before. Actually, I saw um, Smith Sisters wearing one of these as well. So I feel like when I wear this, I'm gonna pretend to be a cool Instagram girl. I don't really have like a waterproof coat. And when we go on like walks, dog walks, things like that, it's so useful just to have a raincoat. And I wanted a proper one, so obviously I went for this. And I chose black because I just thought it's easy, it goes with everything. <gasps> oh my god, this is so cool. Look at the back. Oh my god, I love it. It's proper like raincoat material. Let me try this on. <gasps> so cool. Oh wow, look how cool the logo is. I love this. Let me try this on. Oh wow, I love this. This is so cool. I'm gonna take this to Jack's family house over Christmas and make sure that we go on some dog walks so I can wear this. Love it, thank you so much Stutterheim. I cannot wait to wear this. Hello. Are you having a facial as well? <laughs> okay, I've just finished my facial. My skin is glowing. What did we do? Microdermabrasion. Microdermabrasion for exfoliating. Mild peel. A peel. High frequency. High frequency because I've got some spots here which I think are from my mask. And the LED, LED mask. Which, yeah, I would have put that in because you vlogged it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Mum. Dating has never really been easy, but. Modern dating online. Good evening everyone. I'm just about to sit down and edit this vlog so I thought I would end it here. Sorry I'm so red and bare faced. I obviously just had my facial. Um, we've actually just been watching uh, TV for a bit. Had a few glasses of Prosecco. I've had a lovely evening but I'm going to sit down and edit this vlog now so I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching and Honestly, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to all of you for watching all of my vlogs and all my YouTube videos this year. Um, I'm so, so grateful for all of you and yeah, you're just amazing. I'm very excited about 2022 and I feel like, yeah, I've got some big plans for this channel and I'm very very excited about it so thank you so much for watching i will be filming a like cinematic vibe video over the next few days which will come out after christmas um just to give you an insight into my like christmas period because i find it really interesting but yeah thank you so much and i'll see you in my next video merry christmas <laughs>